All right, peeps, welcome to this week's weekly weight loss vlog. Had a rare occurrence last week. Yes, I've completed a week's worth of tracking for the first time since uh, when? Since when? Since the first week of April. Not for the lack of wanting to, not for the lack of consistency. Uh, but yeah, because I've not been bloody here. I've only realised that, yeah, last week's the first full week I've spent in the UK. Uh, and I do have a rule of thumb. If I'm not in the UK, I do not track calories. Uh, since the first week of April. So yeah, 11th of uh, sorry, 12th of April was on a stag do, so um, I only tracked up to Thursday that week. Um, and then, uh, to be fair, oh no, yeah, up to Thursday that week, came back from the stag do on the 15th. I did track then, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 April. We then uh, went to New York on the 20th of April, which was a holiday we had booked last December, but it was too flipping expensive. I don't know whether we were just lucky with the weekend we booked, but we bought the flights, and then when we looked at the hotels and stuff, first weekend of December, uh, which was our first wedding anniversary, which is uh, why we had it booked, uh, it was stupidly expensive. The hotel that we ended up staying in uh, was uh, about double what it cost us to go in April. So we moved that to April, uh, and the dates in April were the only time we could go where it didn't cost us any more money for the flights. So I didn't track on the 20th or the 21st of that week and then the 22nd, 23rd of the following week. Uh, I then got back straight to tracking Thursday, the 25th of April. And then the week after on the Friday, we ended up going to, we were um, in Mexico. Rachel's cousin was renewing her wedding vows out there. So we went there for a week. So yeah, I have not tracked uh, a full week uh, since last week. But anyway, we've done a full week. It's been good. It's been nice to get back into each other. And do you know what? It sounds, having three trips away in short, in such a short space of time, it might sound all right. It isn't. It was, too, it was, it was, I wish it had been a lot more spread out. And in hindsight, uh, when we moved the New York trip, we were kind of like, hey, I'll go to New York for a few days and then we can have a week's chill in, in Mexico the week after and that'll, be kind of our holidays for the year kind of done and dusted we should have just took the bite and paid a bit more and moved it to like september or october anyway it's done now but it's good to be back in a routine so we're talking about last week uh this morning uh which is the 13th of may to the 19th of may um and yeah it is it's just good to get back into a routine i hate i always say routine or i know that's not a word i don't think it's a word i have no idea uh i'm a weight loss coach and an ex-accountant not an english teacher uh but um yeah i like being root uh, like being routine or i like my routine i do i can't deny that and that is something um that will never change. And I like that Monday to Sunday routine. You know, the working week, Monday to Friday. A bit more freedom, Saturday, Sunday. It just works. It works well for me. It works well for a good chunk of my uh, clients as well. Um, so last week, was it tough to get back into it after a week all-inclusive? No, it was easy. And I, I say it was easy. I don't mean that like I'm not blowing my old trumpet. Uh, what I mean by that is... I get to a stage where I, I have enough of overindulgence. I'm the same at Christmas. I'm the same doing all-inclusive holidays. And we don't do many all-inclusive holidays because I'm a greedy sod. I really can be, honestly. I probably talked about this last week. Um, you know, I'm very good here at controlling my calories, but I do have to really watch myself going on holiday and I can slip quite easily into 37 stone meal. And eating for the sake of eating, and it, yeah, I've just... Honestly, I, I, I love an all-inclusive holiday. I love the idea of one. But yeah, sometimes I do struggle. And Rachel's cousin, who we went with uh, last week, they were on about maybe booking Mexico again, uh, maybe 2026, would we? And I go again, of course, I love it. But um, yeah, after sort of like five or six, four day, four or five days of over, I'm like, I want to get back in. Why? Because you feel tired, you feel lethargic, I felt bloated, I felt like a right chunk. And it's just like, yeah, it's just, I'm not saying I didn't have a lovely, I did, I love my holidays. Uh, but 
I weighed last week and I was uh, 12 pounds heavier last Monday. I think I said, it might be in last week's vlog, I said, I'm not going to wait. I've weighed every, I, I weighed, I weighed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I did it because I kind of wanted to monitor. Um, I'm not going to put my progress sheet up because I, I set myself a challenge at, last week. So I gained 12 pounds from that week all inclusive in Mexico. I set myself a challenge to lose 12 pounds in 12 days. Is it going to happen? I doubt it very much. Uh, I'll tell you why shortly. Uh, but if I do, um, I literally, I was 12 pounds up on the Monday. I weighed on the Tuesday. I dropped five pounds already on the Tuesday. Uh, I dropped another uh, two pounds on the Wednesday and I dropped another two pounds on the Thursday. I did weigh on the Friday. The scales didn't, hadn't moved. I was, I was minus uh, nine point two, I think. Actually, yeah, I was minus 9.2 down on the Thursday. And I think I was minus 9.4 down on the Friday. It was virtually the same. Uh, so, you know, there you go. Have I lost all that in body fat? Have a toss. I've lost it in, in water retention because that was my main gain. Um, so I probably lost up to weighing on Friday a pound of body fat because of the calorie deficit I was in. Eight pounds or so of water retention. So I was plus two point. Um, still 2.6 pounds up. So you might, oh, you're going to smash it, Neil. You lost. I would smash it if I hadn't had a flipping all day wedding on Saturday, which I did have, um, which was actually, it was a fantastic day. The weather, how much, do you know what you realise? When we come back from Mexico last Saturday, it was beautiful. It was 27 degrees. This country is stunning when it's sunny. It's literally stu sunny about flipping six times a year, which is why we end up going to Spain all the time or whatever. But the UK is such a beautiful country when it's sunny. Uh, and I love it. I'm quite lucky. I live in quite a rural location. And uh, this weekend, the weather's been amazing and they've been silaging and cutting grass. And, you know, if you've got hay fever, it's pretty rubbish, really. But uh, I'm quite lucky. I I suffer with hay fever when leaves drop in like October, November. Does anyone else do that? Or is that just me? Like that's when I get hay fever. I do not get hay fever from flowers or grass or anything like that or pollen or whatever else causes hay fever. It's literally just when the leaves drop, like November when the trees are shedding. I get it for like a week or so then. Yeah, I'm random. I might not be random. No idea. Uh, I've just asked you a question there. Before I get further into this vlog, um, I'm going to do this on my Instagram stories as well, but I'm quite happy getting questions from anywhere. Uh, someone commented last week on the on the vlog last week. Um, someone that, David's called, great bloke, used to be in my community, still comes and watches my TikTok lives and stuff like that. Uh, he asked about doing a Q&A sort of thing or maybe a good idea. And I was like, that is a good idea. So something else I'm going to bring to YouTube uh, alongside uh, exclusive, YouTube exclusive, alongside these weekly weight loss vlogs, is... Um, um, yeah, doing some Q and A's. So Q and A with the RLB. So um, you can ask me on this on this post. I don't know when I'm going to record it. I have no idea. Um, you might not even see it <laughs> before I even record the first one. But even if you ask a Q and A, even if you ask a question on the comments on this post, I can do them next week. Right. So yeah, any questions you might have about anything, weight loss. Um, obviously weight loss, it, it, it mainly, but I suppose, but weight loss, fitness, health, exercising, um, any questions you might want to ask me personally, like how's it affected you with this or how did you get through that or whatever, ask, ask me a question and I'm going to try and do uh, a little, yeah, Q&A with the RLB um, each week. I enjoy doing my YouTube, my longer form videos. You probably guessed that because I never shut up talking. Uh, so it just kind of suits me. Um, but yeah, if so any questions around where... So I'd love to hear a comment about these vlogs and this, that, and the other. But if you've got any like specific questions that you'd like answering about weight loss, get them in the comments, right? So I, I will do it from YouTube, Q&As from comments on YouTube. And I'm going to put like a YouTube Q&A up on my Instagram stories every Monday and say, got any questions? You know, ask me a question. Uh, and I will be doing a, like a little Q&A show video thing. Anyway, right, let's get back into let's get back into this week's vlog. So, yeah, so I was at a wedding all day on Saturday. It was lovely. The sun was shining. Sun was shining, which meant I had the taste for a few beers. So I did have a few beers uh, and it ended up being a really long day because we did the wedding. We got there about one. 
we did one till nine. We had to get back for the dogs. Um, so we weren't staying over or anything like that. So we we, we kind of uh, shot off from the wedding uh, about nine-ish, checked the dogs. They were all fine. Then we ended up going to our local pub um, and having a, a couple of drinks in there because we were just having a really good day. Uh, and then got home about half ten and because uh, I was a bit drunk, um, I was like, oh, let's pay 30 quid to watch the boxing and ended up watching the boxing until whatever time that was on. So like, was it half midnight or one o'clock? I have no idea. In fact, I don't even know if I saw the end of the boxing. I can't really remember. Uh, I was a bit tipsy. Um, so yes, yeah, so we had an all day wedding, which was obviously a bit calorific. And then yesterday, you know, I wasn't hungover yet. Well, I say I wasn't hungover. I'm probably trying to convince myself otherwise. Uh, I, I was tired. <laughs> Is that just a really cack excuse for me to go over? Is that like, I'm not hungover, I'm just tired. I'm like, yeah, I wasn't going to go. No, I wasn't actually. I wasn't too bad at all yesterday. Um, uh, but I, I was tight. Don't get me wrong. I knew I'd had a beer. Uh, and my self-control around food wasn't great yesterday uh, either. But it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. I, I kind of stuck to my plan. We have to understand that life sometimes takes over, right? We have to understand that, all right? Sometimes life takes over. Sometimes life can be busy. You're going to have all-day weddings. You're going to have certain parties. You're going to have week all in place. You just have to build that into your weight loss journey. And part of building that into your weight loss journey is building it into your head and, and making sure you're happy with what's going on. Uh, and the way I coach weight loss, if you want coaching with your weight loss journey, if you're struggling, if you want to have the same outlook that I have, the same outlook that most of my clients have when they come and work with me around weight loss, then, you know, Get signed up. I'll put all the links as always in there. You can come and join my one-to-one -one plan or just come to my community, uh, come into the community. You get the community included in the one-to-one -one plan. The community is £5 for your first month, £9.99 after that. So it's not a lot of money whatsoever. And it supports me as a, a coach and a creator to allow me to keep doing all these videos. Uh, if you feel, I'm moving my camera, sorry. I always like to sit a little bit to the right so because I'm can i going to post me, me diary in a minute. Um, um, but yeah, coming to the community, it's a fantastic place, it really, really is. If you feel like you need some more specific help, then come and um, um, join my one-to-one -one plan. And do you know what I'm going to do? Because these vlogs are exclusive to YouTube. The weight loss Q&A or the Q&A with the RLB is going to be exclusive to YouTube. So for you guys supporting me on YouTube... I am permanently going to put uh, the sign up to my one-to-one -one plan if you come from here as twenty nine ninety nine. It's normally fifty quid, right? But I'm going to put it permanently as twenty nine ninety nine uh, using code uh, vlog. I'll make it dead simple, right? Or uh, yeah, I'll just just vlog V L O G, right? Again, I'll put it in the comments. So if you want one-to-one -one coaching with me. It's $29.99 to sign up because you've come from YouTube. And then it's $29.99 a month for a minimum of three months. So that's your commitment. You, you, you sign up for three months. You can do six months, 12 months, 18 months. You don't need to leave after three months, but you have to do a minimum of three months. So basically, in total, it's £119.96 for three months of one-to-one -one weight loss coaching with me. And... If it does nothing else, it will massively change your relationship with food and your outlook on weight loss for the rest of your life just in three months. Really, really. Anyway, all the details below. Come get on board. Uh, I'd love to work with you. Right, let's get uh, a food diary printed up. As always, I'll have a look at the time. Um, uh, uh, um, just for me to for my editing. So here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is my weekly food. And like I say, we need to accept that that. Life takes over sometimes and you just need to build it in. And that's what I did last week. I literally set out at the start of last week saying, if I go 1,500 calories over my ideal deficit, remember, calorie maintenance, the amount of calories you consume uh, a day, a week, a month, we always look at it weekly. So I burn, so calorie maintenance, the amount of calories, sorry, you burn. So I burn about 23,000 calories a week. Doesn't matter what I eat, doesn't matter what time of day I eat, irrelevant. If I eat 23,000 calories a week of McDonald's, I can't get fatter. It's physically impossible. If I consume the same amount of calories as I burn, my body fat stays exactly the same. And if anyone tells you any different, they are lying to you. They're like, yeah, but if you have carbs, you have the... Bull. BS. Stop talking nonsense, right? Um, and then obviously we eat below our maintenance to lose body fat. I try and eat about 4,000 calories below my maintenance. That is 
that is, uh, which would be 19,000 calories, all right? So I eat 19,250. So, and I'm definitely gonna lose a pound of body fat doing that. But sometimes I need to accept, I can't hit what I call my ideal deficit. There's gonna be certain things, like an all day wedding, where um, you know I'm gonna consume more, more food um, than, than I would do normally. The, the week's going to be a bit more calorific. Now, I still banked, if you look here uh, at, at my diary, I still bank calories all week. I banked about 2,002, 2,300 going into Saturday. So I've saved up that many to help pay for Saturday. But I knew I was still, uh, Saturday and Sunday, because again, that little hangover day, I struggled to control my calories a little bit. And I do crave, you know, crisps and chocolate and biscuits and yeah, I had a McDonald's uh, 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 yesterday dinner time. And that's just part of it. And every now and then, I'm not going to stick to what I call my ideal deficit. I, I said this on this morning on TikTok. The ideal deficit is like the sweet spot. But sometimes you, you can't always hit the sweet spot. I kind of, if you're not a golfer, you won't have a flipping clue what I'm talking about. I'm not a golfer. Ah, I've got golf clubs. I'm not a golfer. I've, last time I played golf was about four years ago when I'm rubbish at it. But, you know, I, I think I'm talking about this because I was reading about the PGA this morning. But anyway, you know, when you're a golfer and you tee off, you want to get it on the fairway, which is the long bit of grass that runs to the green where you put the ball in, right? There's a sweet spot on that fairway, like right in the middle of the fairway. That is where every single person that tees off, unless you need different, is, is where you want your ball to go. But if you get it to the right of the fairway, to the left of the fairway, as long as you're not in the rough, you're still there or thereabouts. You've just not quite got the sweet spot. And that's kind of the analogy I was trying to use this morning on TikTok. Um, so I said last Monday, I'm happy to go 1500 calories over my ideal deficit, which means I'm still in a 2000. If I do that, I'm still in a 2250 calorie deficit. I'm still going to lose some body fat, even though I had several pints of Amstel and several vodkas on, 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 um, on Saturday. When I got home from the pub on Saturday night to watch the boxing, I ate my body weight in cereal, pizza and crisps. I don't mind admitting that. Right, hence why I consumed 5,259 calories on Saturday. Uh, and then yesterday, yeah, I had another big bowl of cereal from our breakfast. Um, I had a McDonald's for my lunch. Uh, I had a bacon butty for my tea, which was just sensational. Uh, we've been to M&S and we got some cakes around S and I smashed those in in the afternoon and some Chris and then I had some Chris last night. That is just a typical hangover day for me. And that's my worst thing about drinking alcohol. The foods I crave and my lack of self-control. And it does happen. But in my mind, I'd already said, I'm happy to go. And it just so, and yesterday, I wasn't even asked, if I'm being honest with you, about what I was eating. I was just kind of going with the flow, tracking away. And it just ended up that I finished on minus 1,449 uh, calories for the week. So I'm still in a 2,250 calorie deficit. So I did all that. I had a nearly 10,000 calorie weekend and I still lost body fat. And you can do exactly the same. So yeah, bank loads of calories during the week. 5,259 <clears throat> on Saturday. <clears throat> 1,211 calories over 3,961 on Sunday. Which isn't terrible, to be honest with you. And I ended up 1,000. A lot of people would look at that news check and think the red's bad. It's not. Again, change your mindset. When I look at my NutriCheck weekly diary, green means I've banked some calories. Red means I've used some bank calories on Monday to Sunday. And red on green or red on total just tells me where I am compared to my ideal deficit. If that said minus 4,000 in total instead of minus 1449, that means I'm at calorie maintenance. And it still means I have not... So I could have had another... 2000 uh what could i what could i what could i have had maybe not sorry minus 3750 so i could have had another 2250 calories yesterday i could have gone out last night and had a flipping double xl pepperoni passion from do they do them at dominoes i don't know don't need dominoes i do papa john's papa john's is double xl uh, i could have gone out one of them as well maybe not a double xl one uh, that's the most calorific food I've ever found in one dish. Beat that. Tell me in the comments. So a double XL, all the meats from Papa John's is 4,500 calories. Is there any single order food that's over 4,500 calories uh, that you know of? Obviously, you might have an independent cafe that does, you know, Big Ron's Belly Buster or something like that that's 
58 eggs and 10,000 sausages. That's a million calories. But anyway, anyway, there you go. Uh, so I could have had another 2,250 calories yesterday. I still wouldn't have got any fatter last week. We have to understand how calories work. Right, let's go through some food. Uh, and this week I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I am going to... Um, uh, when I'm going through my food, uh, if I've took a picture of it, I'll try and uh, I'll try and uh, uh, um, um, post the post the uh, the the picture, uh, so you can kind of get a little bit of inspiration. Anyway, um, last week for breakfast Monday, do you know what? I just had a protein bar. I had a protein bar. It was nothing special. It was a Warrior Flapjack bar, uh, raspberry and white chocolate. It was very nice, but yeah, nothing special. For lunch, I became a bit of a keto knob last week, and I'll tell you why. So. Um, I say keto or not, and please, no offence if you're doing a ketogenic diet. I, I don't mind people that do any weird and wonderful crazy fad diet, as long as you're honest about why you're doing it. Why I say a keto not, because they, they just say they have, it has all these major benefits. It doesn't, it just puts you in a calorie deficit. So yeah, so last week, I was really bloated for my all-inclusive, right? Really bloated. And carbs do not make you fat. They just contain calories like anything else. But having a very high level of carbs stored in the system stores a lot of water retention. And I was so bloated last week. I basically went fairly lowish carbs for three days just to flush out some excess water retention. And it worked. Hence me losing seven to nine pounds in, 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 in three days uh, last week. Uh, and the fact that I ate a lot of carbs on Thursday, I went back to my, no I say a lot of carbs, I went back to my normal intake of carbs. So uh, basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday last week, 25% of my calories came from carbs. Other than that, I was very low carb. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I still ate carbs, right? 25% of my calories, you know, I still ate uh, five, 600 calories of carbs uh, those days. It was just a lot lower. Uh, and yeah, basically protein bar for lunch, uh, no, for breakfast. And then lunch, I actually had some rump steak, some eggs, some avocado and some chicken thigh. Uh, just prioritizing fats and proteins. Like, you know, ba you know anyone do the ketogenic diet would be like slathering over. Oh, look at that. Keto hero. I did it for that one purpose. I was just trying to watch my carbohydrates. Calorific, 756 calories. Um... Um, but satiating, yeah, filling. I'll tell you why it's filling because you're consuming quite a bit of fat, especially with the avocado, and it's not that appetizing fat. Fat is not appetizing unless it's with carbs. Like cheese, I love cheese, but unless you eat cheese with crackers, carbohydrates, it's not as good. Dead simple, isn't it? Like butter, I love butter. I can eat butter like it's cheese as long as it's with a really nice crusty cob, right? Just butter on its own, like it's not really for me. You stick a uh, a wedge of butter on a tiger loaf. It's giving me the shivers thinking about it. Absolutely sensational. Anyway, so yeah, so uh, that was my lunch. Uh, and then um, I had a protein shake mid-afternoon. My tea, what a tea this is. If you want quick, easy, 732 calories. It was buttermilk chicken tenders from Tesco. Uh, a Caesar salad kit from Tesco. We are using a bit of convenience because we couldn't really be asked because we were jet lagged that was a big fight last week it was jet lagged monday tuesday wednesday jet lagged from being away uh some air fried chips uh and um yeah there you go 732 calories bit of olive oil in the air fried chips all tracked that includes in those calories um 732 calories 33.7 grams of protein and nine grams of fiber very nice uh, and then evening snacks last week protein bar and uh and a bag of crisps so I still like Chris. I still like potatoes with my tea, and I still had that protein bar. But my, uh, but still a really low carb intake for me personally for that for that day. Uh, not as low as Tuesday. Tuesdays was lower. Uh, Tuesday um, uh, yogurt bowl. I started making this on holiday. I kind of have a yogurt bowl called the Bossy Staple. If you've got my first e cookbook, with get my first e cookbook. It's got sixty recipes in: breakfast ideas, lunch ideas. If you've not got it, get it. Um, it's on my website. I'll tag the website in the in in the comments. Um, whatever breakfast on there, which I call the Bossy Staple. It's something I've eaten for years and years and years. Uh, and it is literally yogurt, protein powder, mixed berries, and a bit of granola. Dead simple to make, dead filling. You know, you can make it, meal prep it, take it to work, just have it at lunch. It's great. So I was kind of making that a little bit last week on the holiday, or not last week, the week before. Um, but they didn't really have 
a good granola. Um, so I was just doing yogurt and fruit. And then they kind of had like a little section with like dried banana, some peanuts, some pumpkin seeds, some oats. So I was kind of sprinkling that on to kind of give it some... I absolutely loved it. So I kind of did my own version last week. And it was literally 200 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt. Um, mixed with a bit of protein powder as the base. And then just some toppings uh, and blueberries... Um, some dried bananas, some honey roasted peanuts, uh, 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 a bit of flaxseed, bit of chia seeds, just for the health gurus out there. Uh, took the fibre, and Joe, it's absolutely sensational. Uh, the one I made on Tuesday was a little bit calorie, it was 550 calories, but it got 30 odd grams of protein in it, seven and a half grams of fibre. Uh, oh no, sorry, it was, I bought full fat yogurt by accident. So I was kind of mixing, I, I, yeah, I, I had a full fat yogurt one, that's why it's 550 calories. I normally want to eat full fat yogurt, I'm calorie conscious, I also don't want to consume tons of saturated fat. Anyway, that was my breakfast, uh, and, I met, and I had that like four or five times last week, I think. Uh, dinner, uh, I was back to being, uh, uh, um, yeah, a bit of a, a, a keto muppet. Uh, I actually made the avocado into guacamole though on uh, on on Tuesday, so I just mashed it up with a little bit of coriander, a little bit of red onion, bit of li bit of lime, uh, lemon juice. Um, yeah, lovely. In fact, I'm gonna have that again. I'm gonna make guacamole today. I'm not doing keto, but I'm going to have some of that because I've got an avocado left. Again, steak, chicken, this, that, and the other. Uh, protein shake mid-afternoon. Uh, tea was jacket spuds. Love a jacket spud. Uh, it might look like a dog's dinner, but uh, jacket spud. Cheesy beans. Half a tin of beans. 40 grams of cheese in there. 20 grams of light, soft cheese. Um, absolutely. So just cheesy beans. A uh, little bit of drizzle of barbecue sauce. And just some chicken to up the protein. Uh, bag of Chris and protein bar at night time, as always. You don't need a picture of that. Uh, Wednesday, again, back on the yogurt trail. This time used fat-free, went and bought some fat-free Greek yogurt. So mixed it up, actually. I think I did 100 grams of fat-free and 100 grams of full fat, just to kind of dilute the full fat down until I got rid of it. Uh, dinner was, oh my, was this? Oh. So I bought the high-protein um, flatbreads and I made a pizza with them from Aldi. Uh, pizza was quite small, so served it with a side salad. Uh, it ended up being 548 calories, my portion. Uh, really, really good. I've done a video on it, TikTok thingy. Go and, go and check it out on how I made that. Uh, didn't have a protein shake uh, on Wednesday. Just had an apple tea on Wednesday night. Oh, David, I was around my mum. Uh, and my mum loves uh, fish. Uh, Rachel absolutely hates the smell of fish in the house, but she allows it me when my mum calls <laughs> out. So I did salmon. So I had a cup, I had 200 grams of salmon. I love salmon. Salmon's calorific. So 200 grams of salmon's 433 calories, whereas 200 grams of chicken breast is 250 calories. But 200 grams of salmon, uh, so I had uh, two pieces of salmon. Uh, why is salmon calorific? It's full of omega-3 fatty acids. Extremely healthy for us, but a fat, whether it's a good fat or a bad fat, is calorific. So, uh, yeah, so I had salmon, uh, new potatoes, uh, broccoli and peas. Just a dead basic, but delicious tea. Uh, we also have a little bit of dessert. My mum loves the dessert. She's very old school. So I had an ice cream Mars from Aldi, 140 calories. Uh, a tighter, is it called? And then again, a bag of crisps and a protein bar in bed on Wednesday night. Right, let's get through this now. Thursday, uh, yeah, yogurt for breakfast. Uh, was back to my old school uh, Chinese chicken curry thing that I make. So literally, uh, chicken breast, half a pack of Aldi steamed white rice, 100 grams of broccoli, and then I just make some goldfish Chinese curry sauce up and, and pour that over the top. 550 calories. It's absolutely delicious. 60 grams of protein in there. Uh, protein shake mid-afternoon. Someone sent me this because they didn't like it. A friend of mine, she used to come to my spin classes years ago. Um, I, you know me, I absolutely love Perform as a brand. But uh, she sent me a tub of Perform that she got that she didn't like. And uh, she sent me this. It is sensational. Absolutely delicious. One of the best uh, flavoured protein powders I've had for a long time. Grenade isn't cheap. I know it's not cheap, but uh, fudged up. So it's like... Grenades Fudge Brownie uh, pre-made protein shake is my favourite ever pre-made protein shake. This tastes similar. So I had one of them on Sunday afternoon. Uh, Sunday afternoon, not Sunday afternoon, Neil, Thursday afternoon. Uh, really good. Uh, at night time, uh, pasta bake. Again, looks like a dog's dinner. Uh, I'm not here to be Gordon Ramsay. Uh, pasta bake, dead simple. 
quick convenience. Thursday's always really busy for me. I do a weight loss coaching live on the Facebook group, then back for a TikTok live an hour and a half, two hours later. So we always have a, something a little bit quick and easy for tea. And I just did a pasta bake, home pride pasta sauce, pasta, bit of light mozzarella and, and, and cheddar on top um, and, and some chicken. That was 600, no it wasn't, uh, that was 760 calories. And then in bed at night, I didn't have Chris, I just had a protein bar. Didn't I uh, skip the Chris on Thursday night. Uh, Friday, uh, shock it again. So I've had that pretty much every morning, I think. I had that, yeah, four mornings on the trot. Uh, oh my God, I made this uh, for lunch. So again, using one of the protein flatbreads. Oh no, I, I, had, I just pan fried the protein flatbread uh, just to heat it up a little bit. I made like a kind of my version of a Greek salad. In fact, the only thing in there that was Greek was actually uh, feta cheese. Uh, but anyway, um, I did uh, lettuce as a base with a little bit of lighter than light mayonnaise. I then uh, air fried some peppers and onions in one side. Again, this is kind of similar to a recipe I've done in my air fryer e-cookbook. I've already talked about one. Go get my air fryer e-cookbook bundle. Um, use this code if you do. Uh, it's the code that uh, my community get. I can't remember it. I can't remember the code. What is it? It's something crew. It might be cook. I can't remember. I'll put it in the description. Again, I'll put it in the description or I'll, or I'll, I'll tag it on here when I'm editing the video. But anyway, it'll knock you a, a percentage off. You'll get my full bundle, both my cookbooks for £12.60 and you'll have like nearly 100 recipes that are either quick, simple, low calorie, high protein. That's what my recipes are. Uh, anyway, this is kind of similar to one recipe in there. So uh, base of lettuce uh, with some light and light mayonnaise. Uh, air fried onion and pepper, delicious. Honestly, just air fry red onion and peppers for eight to 10 minutes. It just takes salads to the next level. That was on top uh, with some chicken and feta cheese and actually a little bit of low calorie ranch sauce that we brought home from uh, from America. Uh, and then add one of them flatbreads uh, with it. Uh, 600 calories, should have been more, but Rachel nicked a quarter of the flatbread. So I had three quarters of a flatbread. 600 calories, 54 grams of protein. Absolutely delicious. Another one of them grenade shakes mid-afternoon. Uh, Friday night for tea, double cheeseburger and chips. Who doesn't love a double cheeseburger and uh, 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 chips? Uh, it didn't need to be a double. It was a double. It was 800 calories, which you know what? Some people go, 800 calories, that's the same as a quarter pound of a cheese meal from McDonald's. It is with a Coke Zero, but I used two, um, uh, two quarter pounder 5% uh, uh, fat minced beef burgers, uh, um, one brioche bun, a little bit of lettuce, one light cheese slice, um, 400 grams of potatoes, big portion of chips. So yeah, same calories, but a quarter of the saturated fat, double the protein, right? And a much bigger portion, right? Huge portion, double cheeseburger chips, 800 calories, really healthy, uh, loaded with protein and fiber, loads of volume, delicious. Nighttime, crisp protein, protein bar. Uh, wedding, let's talk about the wedding on Saturday. So you're like, well, how do you track a wedding deal? I just kind of guesstimate. I just kind of guesstimated and I adjusted the next day. So basically for the wedding, I drink two drinks an hour. And I was like, do you know what? I'm going to be out for like however long. Now, I knew I was going to, and normally I just drink pints, to be honest with you. I'm a bit of a lager out, if I'm going to be honest with the world. Uh, when it comes to drinking, I used to drink all sorts, mate. Now, as I've got older, I just like a couple of pints, really. But um, just to watch calories a little bit, I went on to Vodka Diet Cokes. So I put in five pints of uh, cooking lager, as I call it, basic, which was Amstel, which is like six, 700 calories. Uh, and uh, and uh, and then I, I think I put in, um, please don't judge me. Uh, I think I put in uh, 15 vodka shots, which is basically half a bottle. It's 28 shots of vodka, 28, 25 mil measures in a bottle of vodka. So I put in 15 of them. I'll just have it, I'll, 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 and we're there all day, right? You might be like, that's nothing, Neil. But anyway, always drink responsibly, kids. Uh, anyway, so that was my alcohol, and I and I pre-tracked that. Looking back now, did I miss anything? On the Sunday, I added one glass of rosé because I had a glass of rosé wine with the wedding breakfast. So I added that. Other than that, I've just gone. Do you know what? I I think that's roughly what it is. Could it be more? Could it have been less? Possibly. I can't. But you just have to get. And what one thing you need to understand is, guesstimating a little bit every now and then 
isn't an issue. Now, breakfast I put in, I had protein pancakes for breakfast. Uh, I don't know if I took a picture of it or not, but if I did, I'll pin it now. Uh, and then the food, I actually tracked it, pre-tracked it in the morning as basically like uh, soup, um, roast beef dinner and cheesecake, because that's what wedding breakfasts are, aren't they? It's mass catering fair. It's roast chicken or roast beef. It's something else. Anyway, it ended up being burgers and like they did kind of a bit of a barbecue theme. It was like uh, a burger with a bit of pulled pork on it. Uh, um, a skewer that had sausage and chicken thigh through it. And then they just put trays of like coleslaw, new potatoes and some sort of pasta salad on the table. It was actually really, really nice. Um, so I changed that the next day and I actually tracked my food uh, as about a thousand calories because I literally had a burger, which they weren't big. So a quarter pound of cheese from McDonald's is like 500 calories. It'd been less than that. I didn't have cheese in it. Just a thing. And I put a blob of tomato sauce on it. It was really nice. Uh, so I've tracked that's 450 calories. Sausage is 100 calories. Uh, chicken thigh, it was quite small. So I put that in as like 120 calories. And then I had a few new potatoes and a bit of... And that was it. That was it. And then I had a Mr. Whippy ice cream afterwards. So I tracked the food as 1,000 calories. When I got home at night time, we went to the pub um, um, and had a couple of drinks, but carried on with the vodkas there. Uh, uh, oh, did I have a pint of Madri? I did have a pint of magic because there's a pint of magic in my, I must have put that in at night time. It's very rare I go in and put that in. I was looking there, there's a magic. I'm like, oh, I must have had one magic in the, in, in the pub. Anyway, there we go. Um, 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 but I've not increased the double vodka, the, the double vodkas or the vodkas or anything like that. Anyway, uh, then when I got home from the pub, we watched the football. Now I went on to diet drinks then. I think I did get myself a beer out, but I ended up tipping it down the sink. I didn't want any more to drink. Uh, so I had a can of Coke Zero. Uh, and I did I had a bowl of cereal and I had some pizza and and, and I and I tracked that uh, yesterday morning when I woke up. And that's where I've ended up at 5,200 calories for the day. Have I had any more than 5,200 calories? I have no idea. I do have an idea. No, I haven't. I just know, you know what you eat. You, you kind of get used to it. Could I have had less than 5,200 calories? Yeah. Could I have had a bit more? Maybe. You know, I could have had 5,500. I could have had 4,800. In all honesty, you just have to do the best you can. But I'm happy with what I've tracked at. And now if I was going to a wedding every single weekend, or I was eating or drinking like that every single weekend, it might make, but every now and then, it doesn't make a jot of difference. Uh, and then Sunday was a bit of a hangover day. Uh, I had a bowl of cereal in the morning. I had a McDonald's for my lunch, which was a chicken sandwich and a double cheeseburger. And I had one and a half chicken selects because uh, I shared them with Rachel. So that was with McDonald's uh, yesterday. Uh, I had some crisps and some cake in the afternoon. Uh, for my tea, I just had a bacon butty and two sausages on the side. It was absolutely sensational. Why is the simplest foods the best? Um... And then uh, at night time after that, I had this late, we went to Mark's events, we got these two different cakes. I'll put both pictures up of them now. Uh, the Eat a Mess Cronut, nowhere near worth the calories. Uh, the layered chocolate mousse cake was 300. The Cronut was 400. I'm just having a look here. Hang on, let me see how much it was. Just so I, I give you the right info. The Cronut was 486 calories, not worth the calories. The mousse cake was 350 calories. It was worth 350 calories. Whether I buy it again, I don't know. It was nice. It was nice. And it, I, and I'm not sad I spent 350, 350 calories on it, but it was like, no. it was, it was all right. Anyway, and then last night in bed, uh, I had a couple of bags of crisps. That's my hangover day. Was I hungover? Trying to convince myself I wasn't. A little bit. More tired, honestly, than hungover. And I know if I've been hungover, if I'd had a bad hangover yesterday, I'd still be, I'd have, I'd have it today. And I'm not. I feel great today. I feel absolutely fine. Uh, right. So uh, there we go. That That's the eating done. Right. Let's do the boring bit. The steps and that. Uh, steps last week were actually uh, the lowest I've done for weeks and weeks and weeks. They weren't really low. I averaged 10,800 and um, 10,800 and 82 steps. Uh, and it was just yesterday, really. Like I say, I couldn't really be arse moving. Uh, we did one, we did, it was too warm to take the dogs out in the day. So we literally went out at about half seven, quarter to eight last night and did one dog walk for about 40 minutes. And that was my steps. Honestly, I am never, ever, ever this sedentary, but it was the last day of the Premier League season. I just crashed on the couch. I watched the footy. I drove to McDonald's, obviously. Uh, did, do, did move in the morning, played my Xbox, drove to McDonald's and back, then didn't move in the afternoon, watched the footy, played my Xbox a little bit. Um, so I think I'd done about 1,500 steps up until about half seven last night. Uh, but then we went for like a 40-odd minute walk. So I think I finished the day yesterday in about 7,000 steps, something like that. 
other than that, the steps are really good. So I've averaged 10,882 steps over the week, which, um, yeah, I, I, I'm happy with. Um, it, it's kind of in line with, with what I've sort of, um, yeah, been doing. Um, I've been sort of doing actually about 12, 30,000 steps, but that's from being away and moving loads. Like if Mexico did loads of steps, but it was just a massive hotel. New York did loads of steps because we're just walking around everywhere. Same with the stag do that I did. So anyway, that's kind of my normal steps. I, I like to be towards that 11,000. 10,000 is always my target. I like to be more towards that 11,000 marker. Uh, gym last week. Yes, I hit the gym. Was it worth going to the gym? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Always worth going to the gym. Uh, but yeah, I was a little bit lacklustre all week. To be fair, Monday, when we got back, which is the 13th of May, I hit the gym pretty well, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, it says 204 calorie strength training because I just did light legs on Wednesday. But I also did 15 minutes on the cross trainer, which I will pin for you, which was um, which burnt, not loads, but 140 calories. According to my watch, I wouldn't have burnt 140 calories because watches are a, are a bit inaccurate. Um but yeah, so, um, but still, if I combine that's 340 calories, yeah, uh, 444 calories, Wednesday was not an intense exercise day. Tuesday was all right. I put it in on Tuesday, uh, sorry, on Thursday, just under 500 calories. Uh, and then Friday, yeah, 285. I literally was really short of time on Friday, to be honest with you. Rachel was out. I can't remember. I think she's gone, for, we've got another wedding in a couple of weeks. Rachel's maid of honor, so she's gone for a dress fitting. Uh, I was, it was manic for my one-to-one -one check ins on Friday, just dead busy. And I went to go and get me, me mop chopped for the wedding on Saturday. So I was just a bit short of time. So I actually did half an hour. So I actually trained all right for half an hour. 285 calories in half an hour is fine. Uh, but yeah, I just did half an hour in and out, quite intense, half an hour, 285 calories. Uh, the gym's going to be much better this week. I'm going to get my head right back into it. I still went, still accountable. Uh, total time for working out. Uh, it says nine there. Oh, that's including May. So you can't, you can't sort of. Um, um, oh no, you you won't be able to see that bit because I'll edit. I'll chop that bit. You'll just see my workouts for last week. Uh, I don't know what I did last week in terms of going to the gym. Probably went five times. Did four hours. No. Maybe not even that. Maybe three and a half hours maximum. No idea. But I went, did my bit. Right, did my bit. Uh, be better this week. The chain will be much better this week. Right, that's it. That's it for this week's week. Wait, let's log. What's going on this week? Uh, it's another busy one. Um, I'm kind of... Um, <laughs> I say it's another busy one. It's not really. Um, for my sins, I'm a Manchester United fan. We've got the FA Cup on Saturday. Am I going to go out and watch it? Yes. Am I going to be drowning my sorrows at 5 p.m.? Very, very good chance. Uh, no, I'm just going out with uh, a few mates uh, to watch the FA Cup final. We're just going to my local pub. So again, there's going to be alcohol involved, uh, but not not crazy alcohol. Uh, they're coming round here at one. So we're having a bit of a pre-match warm up, a few beers. Um, we'll probably get a bit of switch bowling on or something or just watch the build up. Then we're going to go to my local at about quarter past half two, a few frames of pool, watch the footy. Then I'm done. Once the once the match is done, I've said that to, to my mates. I'm like, I'll come out and watch the footy. Uh, but yeah, I want to be home for our five. I, I want a bit of a chilled one. So what am I going to do? Uh, well, as always, we're banking calories this week to pay for that. Is it going to be as calorific as next weekend? Absolutely not. I am going to try and fit a few beers in watching FA Cup next weekend uh, and whatever into my normal ideal deficit. So that's the plan. So I've got some uh, light Coronas, uh, Corona Ligueras, I think they're called. You can't see them, but they're over there. Uh, I absolutely love them. If I just want a few beers, but I don't want to get you drunk and I want to watch my calories, I think they're 90 calories a bottle, 3.2%. So I'll probably have three or four of those here. So that's just under 400 calories. And then we go to the pub and I'll probably have four pints of Coors Light. I'm just going to stick to Coors Light. So probably going to be having about 800 calories of alcohol. Um, that I won't be drinking enough there to affect self-control the next day. Will I be drinking enough to affect self-control on Saturday? Yes. So I can see Saturday being a reasonably calorific day. And then I'm just going to have to do my best to rein it in on Sunday. And I'm going to do my best this week. If I can do what I did last week, bank 2,300 calories. 
it means I could probably do, you know, four and a half thousand calories on Saturday. And then maybe something like 3,250, 3,500 calories Sunday. Does that work out? And stay within my ideal deficit. I'll tell you next week. Uh, also, I'm going to weigh on Saturday. I've not weighed since Friday. I'm not weighing at all this week. I'm leaving the scales alone. Uh, I'm going to weigh on Saturday and I'll see. So 12 pounds in 12 days. I'll tell you how I get on. Uh, next week. So remember, guys, get your questions, get any questions, weekly weight loss, uh, uh, any questions that you ask at some point in the future. I'm going to start doing that um, Q&A with the RLB. Be between three and five questions, depending on how much I bloody natter on, because I do natter on. Uh, I'm going to keep it to 30 minutes. I'm going to keep the recording to 30 minutes. So I'll just see how many questions I get through. I'll, I'll write down five. If I only get through two or three, I get through two or three. If I get through all five, I'll get through five. So get them in the comments um, or look out for my Instagram stories and write them on it on Instagram. Um, I'm going to try and get a podcast out this week. Uh, as, as I've already said, if you need any help with uh, anything... Uh, um, one-to-one weight loss related or you just want to come join my community all the links are in the thing uh, i'll put the code in for the for the cookbooks if you've not got them so they're a bit cheaper for you uh, and i'll also remember that code vlog uh, so you can get a, a permanent discount on on sign up so if you ever decide to sign up to a one to one plan it will be 29.99 rather than uh, 49.99 and that's because you support me on youtube and come and watch these uh, these videos right have a great week smash that weight loss in boss your weight loss not smash it well smash it yeah of course uh, make sure you boss your weight loss um and i will see you on if you follow me on other platforms, social media lives this week, so on and so forth. Uh, and I'll be back next Monday um, on the next weekly weight loss vlog. And until then, yeah, boss your weight loss.